Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today is gonna be the review of the Cardinal Air Speed Roam based on Android 8.1.0 Oreo for the Redmi Note 3. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here is my Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 running the Cardinal AOSP ROM and I have already reviewed this ROM previously on my channel but that was way long like 4 months ago I think 3 or 4 months ago that's why some of my subscribers were asking to review the latest build and this is the latest build at the time of recording this video. So starting off here is the launcher that comes with this ROM. This is also the pixel launcher and it is pretty much similar to various other Oreo ROMs too and it is also pretty much similar to the older build. So here are a couple of settings that comes with the pixel launcher you can control. So going into the app drawer it is pretty much similar like you can hide some applications. Here is a list of all installed applications on your device. You can also change the icon shape from here as you can see you can also control notification dots. So it's on default you can put it to square, rounded square, teardrops or anything like that. Let us try the circle and it should work. And here it is working absolutely fine and here are a couple of pre-installed applications that comes with this ROM except Android Benchmark, PUBG and Share It. all other apps can pre-installed with this ROM. Talking about the FM radio support, FM radio is there and as you can see you need not to connect anything to the headphone jack in order to use the FM radio. It is working but the quality is worst without a headphone so without a headphone you will not be able to hear anything properly. Headphones are highly recommended if you are using radio. So talking about the camera application as you can see here is the camera app. This is the stock camera app which has been modified to give you lots of other features. I have already reviewed this camera app in some other Oreo ROMs like the AEX ROM, Havoc OS and some other ROMs too. It is pretty much similar. So you get lots of options like the exposure, you can control sharpness, contrast, saturation and also pretty much anything you want from this settings. The camera app is working super fine, no issues with that. As you can see the shutter speed is also fast enough. Let me show you the video recording really quick. And as you can see here are a couple of other options for the video recording. It's set on 1080p by default, you can put it to 4K if you want. Let us try the 4K video recording really quick. And it works like a charm, no issues, but very smooth over there. So that was regarding the camera application. And seriously speaking guys, this wallpaper looks super cool on the Redmi Note 3. It's looking just insane for me as you can see. It's looking a little bit different from various other Oreo rooms. A big thumbs up for this wallpaper designer. And here is another application called as Margareta. Sorry for the bad pronunciation, but I just cannot pronounce these type of words. Marg Margarita, I think. Yeah. And it's a substratum theme, it says over here. But you need to install substratum for that. When I hit on this, substratum not installed, you can go ahead and install that. I haven't tried it out, but it should work as per this change log. And here is the equalizer, as you can see. Keep it disabled, at least if you are using the speakers. That's because the volume in this room is not the best. It is not the loudest what I have seen. It is pretty much similar to various other Oreo rooms. And I can tell that it is even more lower than some other Oreo rooms like the AEX room or some other rooms. But yeah, it is hearable, not an issue with that. I have installed Google Play Music. That's because I didn't get any music player with this room. So yeah, that was regarding the volume. Let me show you the settings menu of this room, the about device section. And as you can see here is the about device section. This is the Cardinal AOSP ROM. Tapping on this doesn't do anything. But yeah, I accidentally pressed the Cardinal OTA updater. So we need an active internet connection in order to check for updates which I don't have currently. So here is the change lock. You can go through the change lock from here for all the previous builds as well as the current build. The maintainer is Others MR it says. Android version is obviously 8.1.0 Oreo. Cardinal OSP version is 5.7.0. The security patch is of July 5, 2018. That's really nice. The kernel here it says Lineage OS and that is the reason the battery life is not that great in this room. I'll be talking about battery life performance and all other things in the later part so do watch this video until the end the build date is of july 10 2018 but this build was released i think on july 14 because the name of the zip file is like cardinal osp 14 7 2018 that's what it is but here it says july 10 this was the latest build at least at the time of recording this video the sale annex status is enforcing security and lock screen fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine and all other screen lock types also works fine the fingerprint speed is not the fastest, it is pretty much similar to various other Oreo rooms. And talking about the smart lock, I have got face ID, voice match and everything else as you can see. Face ID and voice match works like a charm, no issues with that. That's a really nice thing. By the way, I have flashed the G apps micro and it is working absolutely fine. Going into the display option, here are a couple of things. All the standard stuff like the night light. Let us try it out and it should work fine. So you can control the intensity of it from here. And double tap to wake is present but I haven't enabled it. Let us try it out. Double tap to sleep on status bar is disabled by default. You need to enable it from the customization options. 
and it works great no issues with that so first on the list is the customization option guys as you can see the wings it says and it is well organized i should say like general status bar buttons lock screen and recent so going into the status bar here are all the things that you can control on the status bar like the battery settings, clock, carrier label, status bar icons and also the network traffic monitor. As you can see it is disabled, you can enable it. Going to the battery settings, you can change the battery icon, I mean the style of icon. You can also show the battery percentage from here. I have already enabled it to outside the battery icon. You can put it to inside or hidden if you want. All the customization options are pretty much similar to various other Oreo rooms. I have already reviewed all of these. The link would be in the description, you can have a look at it if you want. Let me show you my last Android score so that you can get an idea regarding the performance in this ROM. And as you can see that I have got a score of 97,353 which is not the best score but yeah it is way better than some other Oreo ROMs like some ROMs which I recently reviewed were able to score just like 89 or 92 I think if I remember. This thing is able to score 97,353 and talking about general performance, general performance is good, day to day usage is great, there are no any major lags whatsoever and even there were no any stutters in the system, I didn't notice that but sometimes when you use this device heavily with this ROM then it might lag a little bit, that's there and if you keep lots of apps in the memory then it will lag a little bit, that is present. Talking about the PUBG gameplay, I should say that the PUBG gameplay was really smooth in this ROM, not the best I can say but it is really good, you should give it a try, it, it will not disappoint you in terms of PUBG gameplay but the battery kinda drains while playing PUBG, it had drained around 10 to 11% of battery for 10 to 15 minutes of gameplay which is like battery drain itself but the gameplay was really smooth so talking about the graphics setting it was set to HDR and the frame rate was on extreme I didn't change anything and the device was getting up hot as usual with some other Oreo ROMs too. It was not too hot like the MIUI 9 hydrogen port. Let me show you my battery states really quick so that you can get an idea regarding the battery life. And as you can see that here is a pretty weird thing guys as you can see it says down up and sometimes it changes also I don't know for what but the battery states is not proper over here it's not showing properly. So let me tell you my usage. When I first booted this ROM the device was on 70% of charge exact 70%. I ran anti-do benchmark after a while and it had drained around 4% of battery later I played PUBG for like 15 minutes 14 to 15 minutes approximately and it had drained around 10 to 11% of battery for that gameplay later I kept the phone for standby for like 3 hours and it had drained around 1% of battery that was there and I think you have got an idea regarding the battery life in this room in a nutshell the battery life is not the great like some users were reporting that they were getting 6 hours of screen on time and some other things but sorry if guys I didn't get 6 hours of screen on time in this and I'm sure I will not get 6 hours in this because of the usage here. So if anybody needs exact screen on time you can just leave a comment in the comment section. So yeah there are no any major bugs in this room for various other informations like bugs or if you want any other details. The link for the XDA developers page will be in the description you can go ahead and click that link you will get all the information needed about this room. So this was the quick little review of the Cardinal OSP ROM running on the Redmi Note 3. So that's pretty much it for this video guys if you liked it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. This is all about technology 24 into 7. Signing off for the moment. You guys have a great day. Peace.